Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Mark Juliana. Uh, really happy to be here with the fine folks at Reverb.com. Uh, we're gonna spend some time exploring ways to make acoustic drums emulate some electronic sounds. Today I'm playing this great Gretsch Brooklyn kit. I have some fine Sabian cymbals with me. And we're just gonna go, you know, piece by piece and uh, find ways to manipulate these sounds to bring them into a more electronic world. So first we'll start with the snare drum. All right, so this snare drum is tuned, you know, fairly high, but pretty traditional sound. It sounds like this. If we consider that our middle frequency, um, to get a lower sound, we take this head that I cut out, nice Evans coated head, and uh, just by placing it on the drum, we get our lower, more compressed sound. So again, the original sound is this. And now we get this. And now to get even a higher sound, you can place a cymbal on the drum. I like this one, it's a, a Sabian Nano hat, the bottom hat. If we place that on the drum, we get a much higher sound. So there you go, three pretty distinct sounds all from the same drum. Moving to the hi-hat, you know, a lot of sounds can be achieved just by changing the surface on which you're playing, whether it's the bell or more the body of the cymbal, and also changing the tension uh, with your foot. So it's almost like taking the tune knob on a sample. Um, so again, it's just the same instrument, but we're creating a wide variety of sounds. And then if we move to the bell, we get a, a lot sharper sound. And then you could do some fun things like try to create or emulate a beat repeat effect, which you could do pretty simply with a double stroke roll. Could sound something like... So moving to the bass drum, what I like to do is use the floor tom as either a second bass drum sound, which is often what you'll find in a drum machine, multiple bass drum samples, or try to make it as close as you can so it could appear to be the same sound. So we'll take the head that we had on the snare drum and put it on the floor tom. So this is without the head. And then this is with the head. The fourth sound we wanted to talk about was the cymbal sound. Let's find ways to try to get a consistent sound, more of a sample-based sound from the cymbal. So without any um, additions, it just sounds like this. One of the easiest ways to create a consistent sound is to simply stack something on top of this cymbal. So here I have another great cymbal. This is an ozone crash. 
that has a little paper clip in there. And just by placing it on the ride, we will get much closer to a synthetic sound. And you'll notice that it's much easier to create a consistent sound. Another nice thing is that we can include this cymbal sound in sounds we've previously used. So instead of thinking about stacking a snare drum sound with the cymbal sound, let's think of it as a brand new sound. So it'll be a new pad, as if it's a new pad on the sampler. So instead of having to play two pads at once, we're gonna make, create a new sound and we're gonna think of it as one pad. And that could sound like this. So again, here's our snare drum sound with the cymbal on it. Here's our stack cymbal sound together. So this is just four of many, many different ways you can start to emulate electronic textures on the acoustic kit. You know, a lot of my heroes have explored this territory, guys like Zach Danziger, Jojo Mayer. They're the first two guys I saw starting to emulate this music and it really inspired me to go down that path. But please, I hope you feel inspired to take your own path. I hope you enjoy these sounds and thanks for watching.